Hello. Today, this demo is going to be about um, how I go about painting a pansy on a mug, a porcelain mug. Um, oh, I just washed it, so it's a little wet. Okay. I'm trying to do maybe a series of them. Here's my... Um, the one I painted that's got the roses. Later on, I'm going to um, write, personalize it. So that's going to be another lesson, how I do that. But for now, let's get, um, let's get started with this pansy. I think I wanna do one um, in the blues. So I have a little brush here. It's round and it's it's um, like a liner brush. So I start off with just doing the outline and loading my brush. I dip it in, I twirl and I pull so that I have a, a tip. Now here is what looks like some sunglasses. The pansy has five petals. The one in the front is the largest petal and then it's got two in the back, and one of them, the one way behind, it looks a little bit smaller because it's um, being it's behind this one here in the front. So the only the petals that you really see, the whole petals are the three in the front. Okay, so that is the basic outline. So now, I'm gonna come in here with my square shader. And I have, um, in this little jars, I have the media, which is this one here. Which this is, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got it in this little glass jar. And it's a wide mouth at the top and kind of also steady so it doesn't it won't teeter-totter on me so over here I have the a solvent and this is um, it can be mineral spirits turpentine um, if you're allergic to any of those you can use mineral oil um, so and right here I do have mineral oil and that is what I use to mix um, the paints when it, um, when they're in the dry form, in the powder form. Like this is how they come. And um, that that's what I use too. And then I will have a class on how to mix your colors. But okay. So now I'm loading my brush like this. And you're gonna come in here and I'm going to paint from the outside in like this. Even though it's a small space, I still aim to do long sweeping strokes. Okay, now onto the one in front of that, which is this one here. Then the one in the very front, here it goes.
Okay, so at this stage, it's kind of flat looking, right? Notice that? So now, you can, I want to open up the middle, which is the sh in the shape of a triangle. So with another brush, I'm cleaning the inside. So the brush that I'm using, it can, it can be that brush, or it has a round tip. It can have, um, you can use another one that's got a little square. See? It's got a triangle. Doesn't matter because it doesn't have any paint on it. It's just... Uh, um, you're just lifting paint basically. In China painting, we use our whites and highlights are the, the white of the China. So that's one thing that we need to keep in mind. You want to keep as much light as possible because once you fire this in the kiln, then you cannot get that back. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, now the other thing I'm gonna do, just like I was talking about, I wanna have highlights. Just about everything is going to have a light, a medium, and a dark. So now I, I want to really reinforce the fact that I want this to be separate from the back. And then the same thing over here. Now the media that I use is is this one here, did you see? There's several medias you can use. But that one I like, I like quite a few of them, but this one that I'm using right now is uh, um, eight ounces balsam of copaiba, one ounce oil of cloves, and one ounce uh, oil of lavender. which is kind of nice because, you know, the studio smells and smell good. And smell like lavender. Okay, so there's the highlights. So at this point, you can soften the edges if you want, a fluffy, little bit windblown. can push paint so that it's got a little bit of a maybe a ruffle sometimes they get um, kind of billowy now with in China painting you stay kind of light then you can come back after you fire it. You will come back and add a little more paint to it or detail or something other or more color. All right, so now what I'm going to do is with the same brush, 
chisel brush, I'm going to I'm going to go with the black and load I'm going to load my brush like this and get a little dramatic here. These are pansies are pretty showy flowers anyways. So, here we go. I do want to mix a tiny little bit of the blue. So I go and I try not to go into my little white triangle that I just cleared up. Try to stay away from it. Now some of you are beginning China Painter, so it's okay. It's safe. It's better to be safe than sorry. You don't have to do this on this fire. You can just leave it like it was blue and then you can come back and add this once that painting is firm and fired and permanent and then if you don't get your markings or your mask I call it the mask if you don't get that the right the way you want it the first time then you can just keep wiping it off and putting it on until you're happy with it but right now because i wanted you to see the different um, steps then i went ahead of myself and started adding that um that mask the pansy mask it's kind of fun you can almost find all kinds of colors with the pansies the only thing you do want to keep in mind is that these two petals here are always the same colors you can you get variation in color like in different petals but the two here are usually the same all right so now you come, there's this little tool it's called the wipeout tool tool it's a Kemper um, brand in case you're interested it's kind of nice because it's got uh, two ends this one and then the triangled edge one it's kind of chiseled so what I'm doing is I'm lifting paint and really making sure that that there is a nice wipeout right here. It's giving me that nice highlight. To really accentuate the point that you, that this one is in the forefront. You separate your petals. You don't want to end up with just the blue A solid blue square there all right so now at this point I am also same thing I'm lifting a little bit just to really wipe some color on this one hopefully this looks like it's a petal that is kind of bending over a little bit kind of turned in petal because uh, the petals are very very thin and they kind of have a lot of movement so you want to keep that look of a soft billowy type of thing going.
right, so there is the first. I'm going to venture in into this middle part here, which usually that's yellow. And I really try to make sure that I stay in the yellow, in the white area. I don't want to mix it with the blue because you know what's going to happen, right? It's going to, yellow and blue are going to make green. And so we don't want that. We just want it to be like this. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to separate this the black marking and that yellow so that I can end up it looks like a little white wiggly warm see and then sometimes I have pansies in my garden not yes not yet not this year maybe it is um spring and so but I don't have that this time so now I like to just for fun I'm going to add a tiny bit of a different kind of a pink ruby pink color to my brush and just sort of add a tiny bit of that so it's not just blue but that it will have a hint of a purple, kind of a violet color there. Now I'm going to fire this and then I'm going to show you after it's fired on another tape the next steps when I do the foliage. Well I think that's enough for this for this demo. And I hope you join me for the next one so that you can see how we do that. So in this case, this one I just want it to be kind of clear of getting the pansy done on the next one but there's other ways like see this doesn't have background but then there's this one does have background so we can do that type at another lesson okay thank you for watching